get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you Like one of us, like one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better So right now I'm just going over how many patients I scanned because like I told you in my video before this, I get paid per patient, per exam, I should say. So I need to find out how many exams I did. I for you, one of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious, nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better. Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, yeah I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better
as you try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Logic S8 GE and here's your keyboard um, it's pretty general up here you can get your arrow button um, you can check and see if your images went over by your spooler your here is um, you could store it here as well I don't like that soft key for storing because it gets in the way when you're backspacing or if you mess up so I kind of neutralize that key then um, you have your board here for annotation you also have an annotation here as well so it tells you like your tinting your grace mapping um, your if on GE's have cross beam so let me see if I can show you nope. So here, let's just go down. Um, okay, so there you go. So here you have the cross beam is on. Cross beam is on, and then I'm going to take it off. So you see, like it flashed a little bit. I'm going to put it back on. And it helps with the overall grainy, graining, how can I say that? The graininess, nope. <laughs> it helps with the overall texture of the screen. I, I think that's the lack of better words. 
So, it there. I'll leave it up on the sh on the screen what crossbeam on a GE means, because I can't explain that very well. I know that overall it it brings in more like behind the like scene, um, behind the scene type of focal things. So it it, it makes your image look better. Put it that way. And then the next thing is if you are measuring something so this is the abdomen and on the abdomen package you're able to look at your aorta your spleen your proximal aorta your spleen your liver renal mid triple um if you're doing a your aneurysm or if you look at a if you find a triple a it has an area where you can measure that, your gallbladder, your renal lymph, your aorta distal, your iliac, and your CBD. So this kind of like keeps you on track of making sure you get all of your pictures you need. So if I click on just say liver measurement, and I just say, you know, I'm going to measure the liver, just say. You see how it checks it off? So you know that you did that image already, which is nice. So then, down here, so then if you press on the measure key, your worksheet will pop up. And you click on worksheet, and then your worksheet is like already pre-populated for you. So see how I have my liver measurement in there? And if I have my gallbladder, my kidneys, all that, it will all be right here. And you just send that over to the doctor very simple and all your measurements are in one spot so the next thing is you have your m mode you have your power um your pulse wave you have your continual wave which is your power doppler and then your con um your color flow and your b mode and your left and right so you can split the screen left and then you want to go over to your right. So then it's double screen there. And that is right here, left, right. And your harmonic button on the GE is this little circle here. I know it's weird, but when you don't have it on, it says... You see how the map changes? I have it off right now. And then you press it and it goes to one. So that is your harmonics. Um, here is your depth. Increased depth here. You can widen your angles. Let me see if I can show you. You see how it gets narrow. And then you can widen it. And that's just by turning it. And for steering, for like color, your color. Let me put color on there. How can I do that? It's not going to do it. Oh, let me see. Maybe I can. So I had to go to the carotid package, let's see. So then, if I want to steer, you see how my box is angled? If I want to move it, it's just steering. Of course, it's not going to work because I'm showing you guys. Okay, so here's another steer here when you're in. Here's a steer button for when you're in color or when you're doing a vascular exam. You could be at 20 degrees. You could be at 20 degrees, come on, zero degrees, 20 degrees. So it changes. It also does 10 and 15 degrees. I don't know why it's not doing that now, but yeah. So just the same thing, same package, 
on a carotid exam, on any exam that you do in this machine, it will populate a worksheet for you so you can see what's checked off and as you're scanning. So you have your patient button and you could do new patient, details of the patient. Um, let me show you. So this is what your screen looks like. And if you want to do a new patient, um, delete all because I saved that one image. But new patient, so you would put in their patient date of birth, patient ID, last name, first name, middle name, date of birth, exam description. So I'm under vascular right now. So over here it would be all vascular exams. So your carotid, your venous studies, your arterial studies for lower extremities, upper extremity vein, upper extremity artery, and we don't do transcranial dopplers here. So those are all your vascular exams. So say if we want to do a carotid, I don't have scan assist. Scan assist is something where you put in your own information, you set it up. It's a lot. It's a process. Um, the session number for the patient, who's referring the doc, what's the referring doctor. You do all of that and then you press store. So here's your store key. Totally different from the other machine I told you about or showed you on my last um, on my last video. On my last video I showed you a store thing, but I think it actually said store. So this one does not, but this is your store button, your freeze button, freeze store, freeze store. Kind of keep it in the same realm of things. I think it's meant for your one hand to be able to press all the buttons if need be. So when I'm scanning, I typically freeze, store, freeze, store, freeze, store. And that's how I scan um, with the harmonics on. And um, But that's how I scan. And then here's your TGCs up here. They're up on the, on the upper board. Um, you have a gel holder, and I have the, what is this, 9, I believe? Yep, 9 linear, and I have a curved um, 1 through 5 megahertz transducer. What else can I tell you guys? If you want to comment something, I mean, you see how that button comes up, and I can type. That's how you annotate, or you could press say that's off you can press the space key space bar and that would do the same thing I think that's it so if you are done with your patient you press in exam right now I don't have a patient to end so but you press end exam and then it's gonna populate a um, up here it will tell you you want to store all your images do you want to delete your images or what have you so you just say store all and you send it to your PAX machine but let me see if I can show you guys that that'll be kind of cool to see so I'm going to go to end exam See how it says permanent store? So I'm going to permanent store. And then it will, let me just show you, it will highlight all the exams. And then over here, over here, it shows you permanent store, send to, and then it sends to your pack machine right there. So, so yeah. That's it. I am done for the day. I'm going to spray my table because it sits overnight. At least I do. And then, yeah. I hope you guys didn't like that little tutorial. All your transducers get plugged down there. This machine is equipped to do 3D, 4D, but we don't do that here. They also have the Elasto and also Logic View. We don't do those here. Um, and if you want to put on, like,
if you want to do your body patterns. Come on. Um, so it will show you like body patterns. So you could tell the doctor like, hey, you know, um, it's in the left lower quadrant area, right lower quadrant area. It's up here by the xiphoid process. It's on the left upper quadrant. And even though on screen, it looks like this will be right, this will be left. This, this is actually if your patient was sitting up towards you. So this is always right and this is always left. So don't get that mixed up. But yeah, so that's it. I love the GE. They're very user friendly. But I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. So now I'm going to power down. Power. Shut down. And voila. I love that pretty. Isn't that pretty? Forever. Forever. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking?